Hi, this is Julianne, and today I want to share with you how I make my raw ramen instant soup. And it's one of my go-to recipes because um, it's very easy to make and you can basically use any ingredients that you have. So hold on a minute while I just share this on my personal page. And I will begin shortly. By the way, if you're joining, please click the like button, click on the hearts, comment your name, where you're from. I want to know that you're watching. <laughs> and if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Um, I will also, if you're watching the replay, I will also uh, look at all the comments. So um, all the questions and comments, so please, um, if you have any questions, just go right ahead. And uh, I, will be, I will begin very shortly. So uh, one of the reasons why I like this recipe is that you can use any ingredients that you have in your kitchen. And um, it's super easy, super simple to make. And one of the things that I like about this recipe is that you can prepare it in advance and bring it to um, other people's houses. Let's say you're invited and you're not sure if there's going to be healthy food there. You can just prepare it, put it in the bag. Or if you want to bring it for a lunch, it's a very, very good lunch. So um, I will start by putting... I will use this uh, glass bowl because it's easy to um, to bring um, anywhere else or to put on in your fridge to use later if you want to prepare it in advance. Um, I also like to put some noodles in my soup because it reminds me of a real noodle soup. So uh, today I will be making carrot noodles because um, um, as you know, I stay away from grains, and um, I feel a lot better that way. So, um, but you can also use like zucchini noodles, uh, butternut squash noodles. Uh, what else would be good? Sweet potato noodles and um, kelp noodles. Anyway, you can be very creative. Just use whatever you have. So it basically takes a few seconds to do this and it's totally worth it because for some reason the carrot tastes better when it's sterilized um, compared to when it's just chopped. So one of my favorite tools in the kitchen, like besides having a knife, a good knife, uh, you want to have like a good blender, like the Vitamix and the sterilizer. Sterilizer, um, it's just so worth it. If you're joining the live, please comment. I wanna know that you're there. Just say where you're from, just don't be shy. I'm, I'm seeing a few people just join in, but I can't see any names. So please share some love, click on the hearts, click on the likes. So here I have my carrot noodles, and um, you can put as much as you want. I'll, I just use one carrot for today. Then I will put some frozen peas. Uh, I won't put as much as this. So I put about a quarter cup. So, so far I have one carrot, a quarter cup of frozen peas. Um, I have a, some organic non-GMO corn frozen. So I'm gonna put about a quarter cup as well, but it's a just taste. If you don't like it, the corn, just don't put it. Um, then I have some chopped celery. Um, the chopped celery is going to give a nice salty taste and it's going to be crunchy. So again, if there's ingredients you don't like, you don't have to put them, just put whatever you like because this soup, you can make Millions of versions. There's just no limits. Here I put some sliced mushrooms. 
Uh, again, if you don't want to put them, just don't put them. Uh, these are just ideas, and I hope this inspires you. Um, I have some chopped orange peppers and um, some green onions. And here I have cilantro. <laughs> so today I'm putting cilantro, but last week I actually put um, chopped spinach. Um, you can use uh, bok choy. You can use, um, like I said, the sky's the limit. Like, not, not even, there's no limit on this, too, so there's no even limit. Um, put any ingredients you like. You don't even have to put any lingering. I just, I just like to see the rainbow. <laughs> So um, one of the, in, see, not secret ingredients, one of my favorite ingredients. Hey, Tifa Maina, hi. <laughs> I'm happy that you joined. So I'm making my raw ramen soup. And this recipe is amazing to bring for lunch. Very, very good recipe for lunch. You can prepare, prepare the night before. And you can also prepare a few days in advance if you want. Uh, here I have some uh, mung bean sprouts. And here I'm using um, miso. So um, you can use Bragg's liquid aminos, um, coconut aminos or miso. I dilute it in water. So here is um, the miso I'm using. I'm using chickpea miso because I try to stay away from um, soy. Now, to give a salty taste, I have those flakes. So it's a seaweed, and uh, I don't use any salt. So this is great to give a salty flavor. And um, <clears throat> I will use onion powder and garlic powder. And red chili flakes, because I have I like the little heat. Um, so powdered ginger, and um, this will give a nice warm, a nice heat, and so much taste. I just put about a tablespoon right there. Just put as much as you want. I I'm j I just go heavy on the ginger. Chili <laughs> maple syrup. So here you have it. So you have your soup to go. So you just have to put the lid, you pack it, you put it in the fridge, you bring it to work, and then um, you can bring it anywhere. If you have to go somewhere and you're not sure if there's going to be healthy food, just you can bring this anywhere because the only thing you have to add right now is good filtered water, hot water. So I'm going to get the hot water. And here you go. It's as easy as that. So here is the soup. So it's still considered raw because you're not actually boiling. And um, that hot water, um, because it, the vegetables are actually cold, um, it won't get to a high temperature. So at home, I will just cover it with a plate to keep the kind of the heat in and let it sit for five minutes so that it kind of soften it and the flavors mix. Basically it's ready to eat. So I'm just going to mix it up so that you can see what it looks like. And that's actually a very good recipe when your throat hurts. <laughs> and or if you have someone that has the sniffles at home. So here is what it looks like. And it's make sure you stir it very well so that the um, ginger. <laughs> yes, the soup is ready. Just give me a minute, Sally. So <clears throat> this is what it looks like. Um, my daughter wants it right now because there's mushroom in it. <laughs> if I didn't put mushroom, she uh, she wouldn't probably be as excited. <laughs> So it looks like it's well blended. So it looks, it smells just like ramen soup, but it's actually the, the best version of it. It's a lot healthier, like no salt. If you want it more 
salty flavor, a more salty flavor. Just add, um, like, like I said before, like Bragg's um, seasoning or no salt seasoning. So even coconut aminos. And here, so I'll try to get, it's hard to get close, the closer look. Doesn't it look good? And it's, like I said, it's still considered raw because it's not super, super hot. It's just warm. Um, but you could, you could also, um, if you're not eating the whole thing, you could actually put the leftovers in the fridge and just warm it up. Uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be boiling, just a little warm. And then I'm going to do the little taste test. Hmm. Very good. It's just so easy to make. Like, did you see how easy it is? And um, you can use any ingredients that you have in the fridge, in the freezer. And uh, it's a very, very, very convenient recipe. A recipe that everyone should have. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Please comment below if you try the recipe, if you like it, if you think of other alternatives, and share with me. Um, share if you believe that anyone can benefit from this recipe or even uh, tag your friends. And um, I hope that you guys have an amazing evening, and I will see you again very soon. Take care.